بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو ہیئر از اے پرابلم رینڈم ویریبلز ایکس اینڈ وائی ہیو دی جائنٹ پی ایم ایف گیون بلو اینڈ وی آر ٹو ڈٹرمن ویدر رینڈم ویریبلز ایکس اینڈ وائی آر انڈیپینڈنٹ اور ناٹ سو وی نو دیٹ رینڈم ویریبلز ایکس اینڈ وائی اور انڈیپینڈنٹ ایف اینڈ اونلی ایف دی giant PMF of the random variables x and y is uh, equal to the product of their uh, marginal PFs, PF, PMFs, right? So we have the giant PMF given here, right? And uh, if we have the marginal PMFs, we can determine whether this equality holds for this current giant PMF or not. If this holds, then we can say that these random variables x and y are independent. If it does not, we can say that uh, these are not independent. So let's determine the marginal PMF of random variable x and random variable y. So we know that the, random, uh, the marginal PMF of random variable x, for example, is given by uh, the sum of uh, all the values, uh, probability values, of, of y for a given value of x. So how do we express this? This is the uh, uh, y element of s y and p x comma y x comma y, right? So uh, in other words, it means that uh, we will sum to sum all the values, probability values corresponding to y for a given value of x. So for example, for this given value of x is equal to zero, we will sum all these values, probability values corresponding to y. So in other words, it means that we need to sum the probability values in this row. So this comes out to be, for example, 0 0.01. And for x is equal to 1, this comes out to be 0 0.18. And for this value of x is equal to 2, this comes out to be 0 0.81. So this is the uh, marginal PMF of random variable x here. So likewise, if we want to find the marginal PMF of uh, random variable y, uh, we need to sum the probability values uh, for all the values of x corresponding to a given value of y. So for example, like this here, this is x element of sx x comma y x comma y right so uh, for a given value of y is equal to zero we sum all the probability values corresponding to uh, x so uh, in other words it means that we need to sum all the probability values in individual columns so this is for example 0 0.10 uh, uh, corresponding to y is equal to zero this is 0 0.09 corresponding to y is equal to 1 and this is 0 0.81 so this is the marginal pmf of random variable y so we can now write down the marginal pmfs uh, for both the random variables so px of x is uh, 0 0.01 for x is equal to 0 0 0.18 for x is equal to 1 and 0 0.81 corresponding to x is equal to 2 and this is 0 otherwise likewise uh, the pmf of y is given by 0 0.10 for y is equal to 0 0 0.09 for y is equal to 1 and 0 0.81 Eight one for y is equal to two, and this is zero. Otherwise, so now corresponding to x is equal to zero, and y is equal to zero. This is the probability value here in the joint PMF. If in the product here also we come, we get the same value uh, like this one here. Then in other words, it will mean that the uh, probability values are equivalent in both. Uh, uh, this for this pair only, right? And for in a similar manner, for all the pairs, we get exactly the same values like this in this table. We could say that the uh, random variables x and y are uh, independent. However, 
if uh, even a single pair is different from the one here in this table then the random variable x and y would not be independent uh, this could better be explained by constructing a table similar to the one we have here for example let me draw this table here right so instead of uh, px comma y x comma y the joint pmf we get the product for example he would write we get the product here right and uh, we have uh, x is equal to 0 here x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 y is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 here right so okay so for x is equal to 0 and uh, y is equal to 0 we have this probability value for x is equal to 0 0.01 so we have this probability for uh, y is equal to 0 so what we are doing is we are multiplying this probability value probability value of x at 0 probability value of y equal to 0 right so this is 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.10 so this would come out to be 0 0.0010 right so this should be equal to this probability of x comma y at 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 but is it the same right so we see that these probability values are different these are not the same it is 0 0.01 here and we are getting 0 0.0010 here when you uh, see that uh, even for a single pair uh, of the values of x and y this equality does not hold we can immediately conclude that the random variables x and y are not independent right and uh, 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 if all the values uh, of these pairs this e this the, this equality holds only then uh, the random variables x and y could be uh, said to be independent so we can conclude right here right now that random variables x and y are not independent but uh, for the sake of uh, completeness let us continue to build this table and see how much similarity is there or how much difference is there so again for x is equal to 0 right x is equal to 0 we have this probability value 0 0.01 and uh, for y is equal to 1 right this is 0 0.09 so 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.09 uh, this will be 0. 0, 0, uh, 0, 0.009 right and uh, uh, similarly for x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2 we have 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.81 so this will come out to be 0 0.0081 right now for x is equal to 1 and we repeat for all these values of uh, y now uh, so 0 0.18 multiplied by here x is equal to 1 right and y is equal to 0 we are computing for this so 0 0.01 multiplied by uh, 0 0.18 sorry 0 0.18 multiplied by 0 0.10 so this comes up to be 0 0.0180 right then 0 0.18 multiplied by 0 0.09 uh, this comes out to be let's use calculator 0. Point, uh, sorry 0. 0.18 multiplied by 0. 0.09 so this is 0. 0.0162 okay and similarly uh, 0. 0.18 uh, for x is equal to 1 and 0. 0.81 corresponding to y is equal to 2 0 0.18 multiplied by 0 0.81 this is uh, 0 0.1458 likewise for x is equal to 2 uh, 0 0.81 multiplied by 0 0.10 uh, this is uh, 0 0.081 
for x is equal to 2 0 point x is equal to 2 0 0.81 for uh, y is equal to 1 0 0.09 0 0.81 multiplied by 0 0.09 we have 0 0.0729 and then uh, 0 0.81 multiplied by 0 0.81 for y is equal to 2. So this is 0 0.6561, right? So uh, we see that uh, we have calculated this table now for the product of uh, the individual uh, probability mass functions we see that this table is entirely different from the one we have here right not even a single value matches uh, with the one that we table here so random variables x and y are not independent so we conclude that x and y are not independent note that i already said this uh, we, can, we could have concluded this right here at the first value that we calculated here. When it does not match this value here, then we could have immediately calculated right at that moment that random variables x and y are not independent. If Even if all these values are similar to those here, right, and even a single value is different, um, we say that the random variables x and y are not independent.